Alrighty guys, this is Thugs on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. When it comes to tier 6 tanks, there are not many that fit the bill of OP. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm going with the Cryos and the Spark. And I think this tank just scrapes in the ARL44. It definitely was OP before. It's lost a bit of its mo maneuverability. Its traverse is not that great. But... It is still a very solid tank. I'm going to give you a quick review of the tank, and then we've got three games today that I think will illustrate how this tank can perform on the battlefield. Overall, I'm going with great. Yeah, it's not as great as it once was, granted, but it still scrapes in there. Why? Gun, great. It's accurate, it's got good DPM, and it's got solid pen. That's what you want in any gun. Armor. Very good. Yeah, the armor is very solid. It can almost be great against tier 6 and tier 5 tanks, but I'm going to go with very good. And maneuverability, I'm going to say it's okay. It would have been good if the traverse was a little bit better, but anyway. I've gone with calibrated just to guarantee that extra pen, but I very rarely need Premo unless I'm going against like an Annihilator or a Smasher in certain situations. Yeah, um... What can I say about this tank? It is a great training tank. You need to learn how to play this tank because this will help you play pretty much every heavy in the game because it will teach you to take shells and show you how effective armor can be. In tier 6, there are not many OP players, so you'll be able to, you know, learn the ropes, as they say. Anyway, uh, first game. They have a Smasher. Problem. They have a J-Panther. Problem. They also have an AT7. Armor-wise, that's a problem. I want to stay away from that Smasher as much as possible. So I'm hoping that he's not at A-cap. Fingers crossed here. Could be wrong. The SU has decided to go C, which could be the death of him. I worry. So I say, rest in peace, my man. Rest in peace. <laughs> don't know who's getting D. But um, let's hope I don't have the Smasher over here. Remember, I said this tank is a beast against tier 6 tanks, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm hunting for tier 6 tanks. Just look for those tier 6 tanks and get ready to bully them. The reason why it's such a bully is it's got a lot of hit points, this tank. You can, even if they penetrate you and you take a few hits, you'll still keep on coming. You'll be able to pen pretty much every tier 6 tank with just normal shells. There's just no stopping this tank, really, in tier 6. The only tank you got to be worried about at distance is the Hellcat with its fast-firing gun, great pen, etc, etc. Jackson, okay. Okay, I missed that shot, so that's unfortunate, but I'm going to be able to punish him. I hope my team follows me in. And wouldn't you know it, what have I got here? Smasher, but he's got his HE loaded. Took a little bit of hit points from me, but now it's my turn, my time to go to work on him. Two shots. Okay, now that guy should have pushed in around the Smasher, in my opinion. Um, but he's trying to back it up and he brings him to me. I'm like, oh, for goodness sake. Okay, so now he's going to focus me. So I'm twisting my tank, twisting my tank. Another HE, you know, 200 damage. Had he hit some of our less armored brothers in arms, yeah, they would be gone in a flash. But now I'm able to basically hit three shots to his one, and I take basically 600 hit points off him. He takes 300, I take 600. Now, if... It's a good player. They'll probably use Pramo to pen me frontally, which will be more painful. I get it. But there are a lot of noobs out there and smashers. But as long as he's not hitting, for example, our SP-1C or, you know, a tank from the rear, like an American tank, like a T-29, where he could take a thousand hit points off in a second. So, yeah, I'll take a 200 damage shot for my team why not this is what a lot of people don't understand is heavy tanks they are meaty they have armor one of the things they really need to get comfortable doing is taking a few hits for your team not a ton of hits but one or two especially against those lower caliber guns you will get bounces and i'm telling you good players if they are around you they will see that you're doing that and will support you now if they run away that means they're total fools but that's on them, not you. So just remember that. Bear that in mind. Anyway, this game is all over. Just the J-Panther is left. 
yeah, he's coming behind here. Look at this traverse, it's pretty rough. So that's why I'm saying, you know, choose your positions carefully. Can't quite get my gun into the right position there. I'm trying to go for his lower plate, but it's all over. I don't want to push it. Why? Because I'll die. I will die. I cannot take another hit, so I'm just going to be patient. But the three of us, four of us, okay, there's a CC. One, two, and yeah, there you go. So a nice game to start us off. And I think it illustrates why this tank is so good. I mean, facing a Smasher, I'm a tier six tank, but essentially I took out their biggest threat. And once the biggest threat is off the battlefield, the team can have a field day. No one's afraid anymore. Oh, the Smasher's gone. Now we can push him more aggressively. Yeah, so it really helps. Okay, anyway, on to our second game. Again, they have a Smasher. They also have a Rudy and a T25 and a VK. They have good tanks. We have a Skoda, it's okay. We have a Basculus, not really good. A T23 E3, it's okay. Um, it really depends if they're overly aggressive or not. Let's see what happens. Anyway, our team has decided to push aggressively over here. That's good news. And I'm gonna help out our meds. I would love to find a tier six med such as the, was it uh, the Poodle? Does it, do they have that on the team? Or um, maybe a tier six Panther or whatever. Yeah. I should be able to go to town on that tank, no problem. So against tier seven tanks, you just gotta be aware of where are the easy targets and hopefully you know, bully them in this tank. I'm serious. You now this Hellcat locks me, unfortunately. I'm like, get out of my way. Sorry, bud, you took a hit, but I'm a coming through. Here I come. And look at this guy, he's backing up. He's like, uh-oh, don't wanna deal with that. And he backs up, he takes another hit from one of my teammates, he takes another hit. I'm just trying to get this guy off the battlefield ASAP. Remember, one tank down, whoo, it, it puts the enemy team at a disadvantage. Now, I, it's a tough shot here, but mm, I'm back on up here. Do not want to take a shot from the Smasher, but <laughs> I mean, uh, Sherman, what are you doing? Sideways on to the Smasher? No, no, no. I would love to kill the Smasher, as you can see, I'm aiming in, okay. Didn't quite get that shot, so it's time to turn to Prime. I want to get rid of the Smasher, so I'm not going to mess around anymore. Okay, aiming in. Our team is a, doing a great job focus firing this guy. He's getting hit from pretty much every freaking angle, so he is not going to last long. I want to get in there. Okay, I've got this guy first. Might as well take him out. I didn't mean to use Primo. <laughs> Thought I'd change back. And now it's six versus three. It's all over. Now six versus two. Nothing. And in this situation, my advice to you, if you have your team with enough hit points, go ahead and just charge. Just go for damage. Do not care if you live or die in this situation, in my opinion. It's five, six versus one. They have no chance of winning this game. I mean, he's a lower tier tank and yeah, not a very particularly good tank. Just go, 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 take a hit. Who cares? Die, who cares? Your job is to get as much damage as quickly as you can. And you might surprise yourself how much you're able to block or how much you're able to do. But can't do any more. Didn't have a great game, that game, but I was able to help out with the Smasher. I did get rid of or help get rid of their um, Poodle early on. So again, that helps the team a lot. Great job, T23E3, as well as the Hellcat. Good job there. For our last game, we are top tier, so that is good news. Uh, they have a lot of armor in the sense of the AT-8, the Churchill, and another Churchill. Hmm, KV-2, I mean, against lower caliber guns is okay. Uh, but I have to play front line, I do. If I sit back, it'll allow them to get position, and that's not what I want. So I'm gonna push in a little bit aggressively here, do, 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 and see what I can find. I'm going to go this way, I'm going to pull up to this area right here and see what I can see. Oh, here comes their Churchill, tier 6. So he's got decent armor, wasn't able to pen that, that's unfortunate, but somebody else did hit him, so that's nice. And he's backing on up. Okay, that will allow me to... Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, now I know where they are, that's great news. Now I'm gonna push in aggressively because I'm hoping that, yep, once this guy's fired, I saw that, he's now at my mercy. Look at that, 
Very accurate. Lovely. This guy is in the open. Yeah, his armor doesn't really work sideways. It's not really a side scraping tank, not the tier uh, 5 against a tier 6 gun anyway. Um, we've lost a tank. That's a shame. Um, I'd love to get rid of this guy right here, aiming in, aiming in, and backing up in time. The one problem with the KV-2 is the long uh, aiming time. So if you peek on out and then back on up and then pop back up again, you can often um, cause them trouble, uh, especially if they have to maneuver themselves into a better position. Okay, didn't pen that and I took a hit, but again, only a few hundred hit points. I've got a lot of hit points to chew through here in this tank. and I want to keep this guy busy, keep him away from our meds where he could you know, possibly one-shot them. It's not a smasher, granted, but it does have a big boom gun. And there's the AT, so can I hit him? No, but he's not moving really, so he's not a threat to me. Love to get rid of this Churchill here, because he's out. Oh, sideways, thank you very much. Easy, and no, he can't pin me. Now, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, here comes the KV, but he's not after me, so that's a little bit of luck, but he's pushing in hard, and he absolutely takes out our KV too, so I want to get rid of this guy. Remember, He's fired once, I should be able to get two shots. I don't care about the little Churchill there. Who cares about him? I'm worried about the KV-2. Okay, now I'm gonna face, or kind of face this guy. A little bit of an angle. Missed that shot slightly. I hit the, um, I don't know what it's called. So aiming in, and now he's gone. And luckily the Churchill who pushed behind me decided to go after this tank. I suppose it was a good move uh, because I had too many hit points and uh, he thought he would take out the easy target first. You can see the traverse on this tank has been massively uh, nerfed, which is a shame. But forward, yeah, it's okay. No problem. So as much as you can, try not to get in a situation where you have to turn around much. Look at this. I mean, I can shred pretty much every tank on the battlefield in tier 6. There's no armor that can really stop me. The only tank that will be a pain will probably be the AT-8 Churchill... Yeah, in certain situations, but if I put Prem on, no, not at all. So anyway, um, this guy is in a terrible position. Whoa, goodness me. Can't quite pen that, but it's all over. What do I care? I think I did my job that game. I prevented them from pushing in when they did. They got wrecked pretty hard. Not a bad little game, but uh, yeah, the ARL44. The ARL-44, it's one of the beasts of tier 6, if you ask me. And if you put them in a platoon, they are deadly. Work the same area, attack the same tanks. You can absolutely decimate tanks and dominate the battlefield. There's a clan in Asia that pretty much only uses the ARL-44, and they spam tier 6 with it. It's not quite as bad as those people who spam the Annihilator and Smasher in tier 7, but in tier 6, you're not playing against that many good players. So I think it's really cheesy that you aren't willing to learn any other tanks and you're causing all sorts of trouble for people who are grinding new tanks that they've just picked up, that they're just learning the game, and you've got 80,000 games and 80% of them in their ARL and just ripping them apart. Really cheesy, if you ask me. But whatever, teach their own. I have no respect for them because I don't think they're good players. But yeah, in Tier 6 in the ARL, they're pretty dang good. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, do all that other jazz, and I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.